for this seventh simula simulation, we will add another layer of uh, profitability um, options to the application. Um, please recollect that simulation number six allowed us to um, set a mandatory profit for all the regions that comprise this arbitrary key shaped area to $50 mandatory profit before a truck was sent to any region that met that mandatory profit within the simulated time. However, although that strategy is better than no strategy when it comes to uh, determining a profit before dispatching a truck, it's not ideal. One step better than that would be to be able to set the mandatory profit for groups of regions that meet a certain heuristic or certain criteria. Now, please recollect that the regions are set out concentrically from the H region by um, the alphabet. A regions, B regions, C regions, and so on are laid out geometrically, concentrically, radiating from the H region. So, with that in mind, it allows us to set a rather rudimentary um, strategy to set the profit, the mandatory profit for these regions. That said, the profit options window allows us to do that. So what I did is set the mandatory profit for H region to $15, the A region to 20 B regions 25 C regions 30 D regions 35 E regions 40 F regions 45 and G regions 50 which makes at least a modicum of sense because the farther away that we have to drive from the uh, home office or the home de depot located in this, uh, the H region the more mandatory profit that we should um, make for that for that run of course we could always set a delivery charge higher for those outlying regions, but there might be some backlash from customers if they find out they're being charged a higher delivery charge than uh, customers who are in closer proximity. So for this simulation or set of simulations, we will run it two times, and for the first time we'll run it in the same time window, which means basically what it says. The second simulation will run at the same time window that the first simulation runs. Uh, we're going to use a 3% profit margin with a minimum dollar delivery at $60, uh, and that is the same as the last simulation. So we will do a one-day simulation for 250 orders, and we will run the project. Now, please remember that the... Last simulation, the first truck did not be dispatched until about 80 orders, and now it was, I guess, 90 orders before the first truck is dispatched. Uh, we used three trucks in the last simulation, as opposed to 13 trucks, when no profit options were set. Okay, 250 orders are placed, one day duration, we used four trucks, and there are plenty of outstanding orders uh, who have not met the mandatory profit for those particular concentric uh, regions. Now, please see the second simulation is at the same exact time as the first simulation because we designated to run in the same time window. No trucks yet. Okay, B7, that was close to 90 orders. B1, one truck so far, one truck. This simulation is not meeting the mandatory profits as quickly as the prior simulation. So if nothing else, it shows that the simulations are not um, completely identical. They're not just uh, cookie, cut, cookie cutter um, simulations in that one, the outcome of one simulation is the same as the next. Okay, which we will see here um, more clearly as we move on. Okay, the first place that we should go is that is to the delivery report to see that um, this is how many trucks were sent out. There was a truck in the field at the end of the first simulation. Uh, there were more runs in the first simulation than the second. There are no trucks in the field at the end of the second simulation. Okay. 
Now, the H regions, let's see, we have the B regions. We specified a mandatory profit of $25. So the gross regional profit is $27.23, which is $2.23 above the mandatory profit. It is indeed working that way. The next was an E region. What was the E regions? The E regions were... Oh, $30, I believe. $40, I'd say. We can find that out rather quickly. Let's go to the settings report. The E-Regions, mandatory profit for the E-Regions were $40, yes. So we can go back to the delivery report and see that it met its mandatory profit by $1.88. We can look at the second simulation. Uh, let's go to region A2 here. The mandatory profit for that is, should be $20. It did meet its mandatory profit by $0.90. Cents. Um, so it is indeed functioning as it should and sending trucks to the um, regions depending on the mandatory profit as set by concentric regions. Naturally, the regions closer to the uh, dispatch region, uh, regions A, regions B, region H itself, are going to generate more trucks because they're going to reach the mandatory profit a lot quicker than outlying regions. All right, well, let's look at this for a second. Let's look at, okay, here's truck three is dispatched to region A6. Let's remember that the dispatch time for this is the 31st at 749, Okay. 131st at 7.49, and it has made overall $25.58, $25.58 mandatory profit. So let's go to the residence report and look at region A6, A6, at, it left at, at 7.49, Right here, 749. So we're going to add up the deliveries from A6 up until 749. I have to do this rather quickly. Okay, 131. 131. I have to do this quickly. 131, 98. 62. Oh, 62. Where is it? 6260, 9312, 949, 149, 95, 132, 132, 52, and the next one, 131, 131.98 plus 62.60 plus 93.12 plus 149.95 plus 132.52 plus 282.53 equals 852. Point seven. We're going to times that times point oh three equals twenty five dollars and fifty eight cents. Let's go back to the report dashboard. Delivery report a six twenty five dollars and fifty eight cents. So please notice that these two reports add up exactly to the same sum. They at the exact same second that this is sent out, we can calculate the amount of profitability per residence within a region. Let's go to the report dashboard. Here we can go to the profit chart. It shows the actual profit that's made per region, per run, per simulation. Region E5 made 44, 41.88. Report dashboard, E5. 41.88. Okay, so that's jiving. We got a profit graph to show 
uh, comparatively, the profit that's made uh, for the regions that have been delivered to. Uh, go to report dashboard, and the settings report shows this. Okay, so that's the uh, the final simulation that I'll show you when it comes to using profitability as a strategic measurement when running the simulations. Thank you very much for watching.